New at 10, Oakland Congresswoman Barbara Lee spent some time in her district this week looking back at how her political career started. While a student at Mills College in the 70s, Lee met her friend and mentor, Shirley Chisholm. Chisholm's glass-shattering career is now the subject of a new film. As our political reporter Greg Lee shows us, Lee hopes this story inspires future trailblazers. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, you got to be kidding. Now, you guys have to get me this. Congresswoman Barbara Lee taking a walk down memory lane at the place where her political roots were first planted. Inside the library at her alma mater, Mills College in Oakland, she reminisced over her yearbook photo and a newsletter she wrote as the president of the Black Student Union. I was able to receive a an unbelievably good quality education at the same time as I was raising two small little boys on public assistance and food stamps. Also on this table of memories, photos of Shirley Chisholm, the first black woman elected to Congress. Lee invited Chisholm to speak on campus as Chisholm began her historic presidential campaign in 1972. It was the start of a life-changing friendship and mentorship for Lee. There was a class here at Mills that I was about to flunk because we were required to work in a political campaign. I didn't know Shirley Chisholm was running. So I passed my class because I got involved in her campaign and I registered to vote. If all you're doing is outside yelling and screaming, that's all you're ever going to be, a yeller and a screamer. You have to be part of the process. The process doesn't exist in politics for black women. You're different. Chisholm's trailblazing presidential run and life, the subject of a new biopic titled Shirley, released on Netflix. Chisholm, played by Regina King, a young Barbara Lee depicted by Christina Jackson. It's been the role of a lifetime in the sense of being able to play someone who has made so much change um, in the past 50 years. When I met Christina, it was like meeting me. Lee met Jackson during filming and on this day brought the actress to the place where it all began. Lee walking on campus, showing Jackson where Chisholm spoke more than 50 years ago. The echoes of her message reverberating through Lee's political career. The progressive icon breaking her own barriers and opening doors for the next generation in her nearly 30 years in Congress. There is no way I would have been able to fight the fights that I have to fight each and every day for peace and for justice and for equity and equality had it not been for Shirley Chisholm and, of course, my mother. Chisholm passed in 2005. Lee and Jackson said they're grateful the film honors Chisholm's legacy and are hopeful the story inspires young people. We have this group of people in this generation who know how important information is, who know how important their voices are, um, who know how important it is to be able to speak up. When black women fight for issues that are important in low-income communities and the black community, we fight for everybody because we make this country stronger and more equitable. Greg Lee, KTVU. Fox 2 News.